Hey everybody, Quint Lears at the Best Home Building Practices Summit with Bob Schultz. I'm here with Elizabeth Hunley and with, with Kent Holmes. Correct. How's the conference been for you so far? Oh, it's been great. It's really exciting. It's always great to work with Bob in person. Uh, we do video conferences with him on a regular basis, but it's really good to get re-energized and be in this environment with everybody else who's on the same page. Well, some of my favorite people to feature on the program are the new front lines. You're the ones making it happen. Your title is New Home Sales. You're a rising star in the home building industry. How long have you been in New Home Sales? I have been in New Home Sales since April of 2017, so just over one year. Wow. So within one year, you're, number one, congratulations, you're still in the business. What are some things that have been helpful? What are some lessons learned? What, are, what were the surprises? Well, it was really interesting coming into a new industry because I did have some sales experience, but no real formal sales training to speak of. And I had zero experience in new homes or construction, really anything related to this industry. So, you know, getting experience in those areas was really important and, you know, such an eye opener for me. And always, I love a challenge. So, you know, learning those new things was, was wonderful. Uh, and then also having the opportunity to work with Bob uh, and learning his approach to new home sales has just been absolutely instrumental in my success so far. Tell me like a specific technique where you were like, yes, this has been helpful, just anything. Well, the five-minute drill that Bob uses has been wonderful because uh, my thoughts are organized. And so I don't always say it exactly in that order, but I always have it ready to say. And so just having the words prepared, and as Bob says, the words matter. And so having that information prepared and ready to go and able to you know, utilize that in my presentation has just been a huge help. How do you, now you talk about preparation, how do you prepare personally when you get to the day? Do you do anything, any kind of warm-up exercise? Warm-up exercises? No, I mean like, um, like just like, okay, I'm starting I my, I, I'm asking personally, yeah. like, do you pray, do you meditate, do you do jumping jacks, what do you do? Well, I, it's funny that you ask. So I actually have a little bit of a commute to work. And so I, I commute uh, 30 minutes to work. And so I have a playlist um, that I play, which is, which is just, you know, a few songs that really kind of help me. Come on, be specific. What, what are the songs we're trying to help people? Give me, <laughs> give me a motivational song. I'm, I'm looking personally for songs. <laughs> I don't know if I should. I don't know if I can tell you what they are. Really? Yeah. Metallica. I don't care. No, it's just really, really, really high energy, up tempo music. Pantera. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, she listens to Pantera. <laughs> I don't know who Pantera is, but it sounds good. Right. So, um, what you talk about the challenges? I mean, you get rejected by people when they come in. Tell me, like, how do you deal with rejection as a new, you know, frontline new home sales professional? Well, I mean, just understanding, you know, first of all, the conversion rate. Uh, so, you know, knowing that, you know, I, my conversion rate is about 15%, which is which is very, very good for this industry. And so, you know, every single time you go up to bat, you're not, you know, going to hit a home run. But continuously going up to bat um, means that you are going to get some hits and you're going to get some sales. And so you just kind of have to get back up and dust yourself off and do it all over again the next day, and it's going to happen. So... Tell me a story because, you know, it's not just about numbers and ratios. You're impacting people's lives. Is there any stories where it's like, wow, you know, you realize the significance of what you do working with a, a family or when they got their keys or anything? Uh, well, you know, it's funny because... I'm still so new to this industry that I've actually only been or been through a couple of closings. And so, uh, you know, I just went the other day to, to drop off a, a gift at a, at a closing. And that was really one of the first ones that I had done. So the very first homes that I sold are just now closing. And so it's really exciting, you know, to actually go to those closings and sort of see the end product and get to see, uh, you know, the homeowners in their new home and how exciting they are. And so it really just kind of enforces, you know, what we do that this really is their their home you know for the next probably 30 years of their lives so and the reason why I ask that I think in the business we lose track of like wow you know we're building communities and families and friendships we're connecting people any um, any other shout outs I know you know Ashley Kent's been uh, doing some big things anybody else that you want to give a shout out to you know I I've had the most amazing team to work with uh, you know Dan Kent is the one who trained me on the construction 
side and then I've been able to work with Ashley and also Bob Schultz on the sales side and I just I really am so grateful that I've you know had them as my role models and my mentors and you know the people that I've had an opportunity to learn from so I'm just I'm very very grateful to them and I'm also very grateful to my sales associate Melanie March who's manning the ship while I'm gone this week <laughs> and then we have the sales and marketing council we got to get you involved with that and there's the absolutely. women professional women home building is you're going to get involved with yes, that I would love to I would absolutely don't forget your CSP your merm your CMP so we're we keeping on now look here's what I want you to do the nationals.com we got to get you signed up for rookie of the year I'm already 2000 are you doing it I'm already aware of rookie of the year and that is a goal absolutely. if you watch out for Elizabeth so um Thank you again. Any any last encouragement? So you've been through the first year. Congratulations. Yes. Words of encouragement for anybody else on the front line that's that's you know hitting those challenges that you know is is overcoming obstacles that feels lost in this business. Sure, absolutely. I mean, really, you know, I feel like if I can come into this industry, you know, with no experience in construction or new homes or anything like that and be successful, you know, if you're willing to learn, you know, how to sell in this market and you're willing to, you know, put the customer first and you're willing to put in the hard work, I feel like anybody can be successful. So, you know, it's just about being consistent and persistent and having the right focus. Awesome. Well, listen, we're excited to have you on the program here at the Best Home Building Practices Summit here in Orlando, Florida. Thanks again. Thank you.